Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Gameplay. Today it's Season 2, Week 2. We got Deshaun Jackson taking the opening kickoff and Deshaun Jackson did, definitely did not win that one-on-one -on -one battle there. We're hoping to win the rest of the one-on-one -on -one battles throughout this game. And we do have the players, for the most part, to win those battles. Like Calvin Johnson hitting the juke move there. Almost getting the first down, bringing up an easy third down and two. We run a screen pass here, but we throw the slant over the screen pass. And that's one thing I like to do in this game. Is, you know, have a screen pass, but have a slant over it because sometimes when the screen isn't open the slant will get open more often than not so you have a nice little one two read there and there the slant definitely helped us out there is calvin johnson almost makes a megatron like catch there unfortunately though he drops to bring up third down and eight we find jordan cameron in the flats but he does not get the first down so fourth down and three i run hard up here i'm in my own you know on my, my own field position but i figured i could get the first down if i run the hurry up run the same exact play because if i anything jordan cameron was gonna get open for five yards and that's what happened. Jordan Cameron got me about four yards there and the first down. But um, I was the only bright spot of this drive. Because now all of a sudden it's third down and 25. We just got sacked there. Couldn't find anybody. I don't really have any third down and 25 plays. So I just throw it to RB there. Maybe could have thrown it to Y Antonio Brown there. But I just figured I, I the pressure was coming. I had to hit somebody there. If I threw an interception, it would have been a nice punt. But we got a better punt off besides throwing an interception. We got the ball at his own 17-yard one. So that's a good little play there. Forced him to drive way downfield if he's going to get any points on this drive here. Right for the two-minute warning. Third down and three coming up. Trying to get the stop. But unfortunately, he gets the first and a few extra yards. I believe Thomas Davis there just completely missed the guy there. Bringing up a new set of downs. And he's got Otto Graham. That's why he's got a funky number 60 at quarterback. You don't see those anymore since... um. You're only assigned certain numbers for certain positions. And quarterbacks definitely don't go into the 60s. But Otto Graham did back in the day. So, <laughs> Otto Graham, he's known for... You know, his high trucking in Madden. He's got some decent speed. This number 22 guy taking in the end zone here gets him the lead. So we got to account for that. As well as his running game. Because his running game is looking good. And for the first time, pretty much in month 15, we're in a little precarious position right now. Not really comfortable with the position we're at right now. Because second down and seven, we need to get some points right before half. Because he gets ball half. He already has a seven point lead and he gets ball half. So we want to get at least a field goal. But Jamal Charles is thinking more than a field goal on third down and two. He's going for the home run, Jamal Charles, all the way to the 22-yard line. We call timeout to get our guys some rest here. 33 seconds left. Dumping down to Vernon Davis, getting a nice little five yards there. Not going to call our second timeout yet. Calling hurry up instead, running a little play action. Looking at Vernon Davis in the flats instead. And Vernon Davis gets us the first down all the way to the seven-yard line. We call our second timeout with 11 seconds left. Trying to punch it in the end zone. And that's what Jamal Charles does in the run. 11 seconds left with one timeout. You know, just that whole drive. A little, you know, curious decision making there by me just you know sticking with the run a lot but i just figured you know what i got duty unexpected on him and that's what happens sometimes you just do what the other, the other person's thinking you're gonna pass all the time you come out running that leaves run running to open even 11 seconds left with one timeout do you really run the ball in that situation and cost yourself your last timeout that's what i did and now all of a sudden we got the game tied and we're getting possession with a chance to get the lead here at their second play of offense he throws a pick to devin mccordy great play there by mccordy one-on-one -on -one with the receiver snagging that interception in the end zone there for a touchback and now jamal charles back on the field oh man he almost broke off another big one instead third down and two comes up and we find calvin johnson on the drag trying to get the first down and then some we do get the first down that's the most important thing next play going back to megatron this time on a wide receiver screen and megatron gets us a nice gain of eight yards they're bringing up second down and two looking at larry fitzgerald here Oh, but we throw the interception to Jermon Williams instead just a bad mistake that play there the slant route has a little bit of a hitch to it which i forgot so, rather than, you know, the slant just making a normal break, I had a little hitch to the left before it went right. So, I, you know, screwed up the timing, and I threw an interception to Williams instead of finding Fitzgerald. So, now, you know, we had control of the game. This is a hard-fought game. Now, all of a sudden, he's the one in field goal range. But, look, Garrett Blunt is going in for the touchdown. Blunt, arms in the air, celebrating and grabbing the lead and doing a little dance on top of it on that third down and one. But, Garrett Blunt was just being a bully on that drive. First, he managed to get a third down and one fighting for those extra yards and then he breaks the tackle gets the touchdown and now you know we have a little bit more time unlike that last drive with a minute left that we need to score on but now we absolutely need a touchdown few goals are pretty much out the question here with the two minute warning approaching us so 
you know, we gotta go, we gotta go right now, we definitely wanna get a few more yards before this two-minute warning, calling, hurry up here, calling, Kaepernick, getting some of those yards, breaking a tackle, and look at Kaepernick in the open field, hitting the juke move, Kaepernick all the way to the 18-yard line with two minutes remaining, now, all of a sudden, we don't have to worry about the clock working against us, but we gotta make it work against him, or we're gonna get this touchdown, we need to leave him as little time as possible, so that he doesn't have a chance to, you know, take the lead with, like, a field goal with no time left, so here, third down and two, we need to get this first down before we just think about that touchdown, and that's what we do. We find Fitz on the drag. Next play, the clock winding down. We're killing all that clock we can, trying to send this game to overtime. We get to the two-yard line, but it's going to be first and goal instead of second and goal because Jamal, I'm the dude, went offside. So next play, we hand it off to Jamal Charles, and our big money running back gets the touchdown there. He catches it, and we tie the game with 17 seconds left. He's not taking this kickoff, so now with 17 seconds and three timeouts, he needs to get in the field goal range to win this game or just a touchdown who knows here auto Graham rolling out and that's exactly what we want maybe even put auto Graham in position to fumble there 12 seconds left second down seven auto Graham looking deep this could be the game and it's intercepted by McCordy instead could be the last play of the game and a touchdown from McCordy here with no time left Devin McCordy can't return it gets tackled at midfield this game is going to overtime and the coin toss belongs to us we pick heads and we are receiving the ball after winning the coin toss and now we have a chance to win the game with a touchdown before his offense steps on the field. But our offense has been a little bit messy this game. We had to punt once and we had to, you know, we uh, threw that one pick. So we're going to have to step it up. And so far, no good. That was a bad read there on the um, little handoff thing, the read option. Next play, Jordan Cameron drops the pass instead of third down and manageable. Now it's a tough third down and 14 at our own 18 yard line. Colin Kaepernick looking and firing the it into Antonio Brown, the football outsider Antonio Brown making a big play in overtime, but more importantly, Colin Kaepernick rifling that one in there for a new set of downs. Huge play in the game. Now we're going to hand it off to Jamal. Hopefully Jamal can hit that home run. But we're trying to hit the home run with Calvin. He sends a blitz and we find Calvin on the drag. Calvin getting it past midfield. 46 yards away from winning this game. We're not worried about the clock right now. Because the clock will go to double overtime with Nisa. What we're worried about right now is the situation we're putting ourselves in. Because Jamal doesn't get much in that play. And now it's another third down and long. So I go back to the same play that we've been milking so far. I'm looking at the RB receiver again. And. And it's caught by Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun with the tough catch in traffic. 18 seconds left in overtime. First down. We find Vernon Davis. And Vernon. Whoop. And Vernon firing it into the end zone. And we win the game. Oh, what an overtime game. He gambled on the blitz. He had the screen kind of locked up, but he didn't have Vernon locked up. Remember what I was talking about? That slant over the top. And then that little juke move at the end. That was a big play, and we come through with the win. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the game. Colin Kaepernick with a clutch overtime combined with Matt Ryan. Uh, subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplays and online, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys next time.